Uh, yeah, it's a 2001, uh, well, a, originally a Plymouth Prowler. Uh, steering wheel to get in it. So, uh, normally I do this sort of thing um, the day before. Oh, yeah. I was working late last night. All right, doing so, what? Uh, DJing. Yeah. What's going on here? Little tea party. Hello. Coffee. Oh, wow, really nice. Please. But it won't start. Oh, okay. My battery's gone flat. I think oh, I left it long. Hi. If I'm Mike, you up. Do you mind if uh, talking about a bit of the show and what you've got going on here? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. And here we are at the Wollerton Hall car show today. We're looking very well for 75, sir. 75? Yeah, looking very well. Mega windy today. Where should we start? We need to start from the beginning and work our way around, don't we? So I think this is the beginning here, the Jaguar end. This is where they've stuffed all the Jags. Wow. 
I'd be very careful because do you know yeah. why? I feel so responsible in the fridge and yeah. everything. Maybe if I were on my own, I've got yeah. no kids. I probably would, but I'd be, I'd, I would be very careful. Yeah. Yeah. Find a few touches. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I do this before the day. I'm working late last night, so. Oh, All right, okay. It didn't happen. Been getting till two this morning, so. Do you want to uh, tell, do you mind telling me the story? Uh, I'm a DJ. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. So, uh, normally I do this sort of thing um, the day before. Oh, yeah. I was working late last night. All oh, right, doing so, what? Uh, DJing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, last night I was in my local village, Rainworth. Oh, yeah, I know it well. You know it well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, we're just doing a nice birthday party last night. Excellent. But uh, do a bit of everything and it's the DJ that's paid for this. So you so. boys' toy? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And how long have you had the car now? I've had this one seven years. Yeah. I uh, looked at changing it this year. Um, but uh, possibly another vantage. Uh, I do like the Aston Martin brand. So, uh, yeah, the vantage is nice. Um, something a bit newer. Uh, but I do like the Vanquish as well. So. But that's not going to happen now because I've just moved house. So um, oh, okay. having a bit of building work done, so this is going to have to go on the back burner for three or four years now. And what about the car itself? What's its speed? And its... So this is a V8 Vantage. Yeah. Uh, Vantage S. So it's 470 brake. Uh, top speed about 190. So it's quick enough. Yeah. It's not the fastest car on the road. Yeah, brilliant. But um, it's just a pleasure to drive, you know. How long have you had it now, sorry? I've had this one seven years. Seven years. Oh, you're yeah. due for a change. I am. Yeah. I am. I think you are. It's like the kids when they get older to seven, you're like, well, yeah. you're a free man now. But I have to say, I've had a few tweaks done on the exhaust system and it sounds brilliant. Wow. It is like one of the best sounding Astons on the road. I'm not just saying that because I own it. Brilliant. No, no, no. I go to some Aston meets and even all the Aston owners say one of the best sounding Astons here. But I've had tweaks to the exhaust system, so I'd miss it if I got rid of it. So can we hear it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me start it up. Yeah, just nice, uh, you know, burbles a little bit. Not too over the top, but. No, 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 that's really good. Just spot on. So. Oh, content killer. Here we go, another content killer. Sale limited edition 2000 Lotus. There you go, folks. If you're interested, there are the details.
which is why I thought she was a paramedic. And she seems to be a good one. Wow, I do like that. Is this yours? Yes, sir. Oh, really good. Do you mind if I, uh, you can just talk about it whilst you're sitting there? You can sit there, I'll can mic you up. Oh, right, okay. Um, well, good. Can you tell us a bit about it? Uh, yeah, it's a 2001, uh, well, originally a Plymouth Prowler, um, but now under the Chrysler badge. Um, only available in this colour in 2001. It's a three and a half litre V6 engine, puts out about 250 brake horsepower. Wow. Uh, limited from the factory to 120 mile an hour. So is there a way to unlimit it and only use it on track days in a case? Is that the case? Or? Um, I, I, I guess, you know, with, with the way sort of things are, you could probably get it uh, unlimited, but it, it doesn't weigh very much. It's, it's quick enough for me and. It's, uh, How long have you had it there? I've, I've had it just over three and a half years um, and I use it as much as possible. And what does it sound like? Is it, are we able to get a sound? Or? Yeah, I can fire it up for you. Not boot space, or is that quite deceiving? It's quite deceiving, I'll show you. <laughs> But yeah, as for boot space. Oh wow, I get it. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> under there you've got the petrol tank. Yeah. And because it's a transaxle, the the differential acts as a gearbox as well. So that that takes up a lot of space under there. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. Sounds so. amazing, by the way. Thank you. Is this your first time at the show or second, third time? Uh, right second here? time. I was here last year. Um, the weather was a little bit better last year, yeah. but hopefully it will stay dry. Brilliant. But, uh, Do you live locally in Nottinghamshire? Yeah, yeah. I'm only about 15 minutes down the road. Brilliant. Well, look, thanks very much for sharing it. Hey, no yeah, problem. To nice to meet year. you. Those of you into your minis. In it. Should that be here? You tell me. Uh, so these are the Jaguars, so this is where we started off in the beginning. And let's walk our way down. We did some of the Mercedes. Let's now walk our way down here. Oh, that is just going to kill my whole content. Music blaring out, drum and bass. We'll see how it goes. That's good, isn't it? Well, somebody in the comments section of my previous video 
talks about the uh, popular BMW engines. And here it is. So the car show pretty much goes as far as all the way over there, around there. And you've got him blasting that music all the way through, so anybody making YouTube videos is going to get rinsed on content. It's like memories, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is low. That is weirdly spread out as well, it's wheels. Few finishing touches. Wow. Here's a bit more love yet. Apart this car. <laughs> <laughs> you alright, mate? Yeah, so it's a 1990 348. I've had it about 10 years. Um, I bought it standard. It was red. Was it? So we thought we'd go against the green, make it black. Yeah. Uh, standard wheels, 17 inch. We had them machined and stepped up to a 20 inch three piece. Uh, put it on airbags. We've got bags off a Skyline on the back of it. Oh, wicked. A 90s Honda on the front. Some basic management and uh, that's about it. And you've had it for 10 years? 10 years, yeah. Tell us about the wheels. Why do they stick out like that, for those of them who don't know? It's just, the, they call it camber. It's more like for the stance. So there's no, like, reason for it apart from just the way it sits when it's on the right. floor. So, and as the wheels go, as the car goes down on the air ride, the wheels camber in. So that's why it's so harsh looking when it's laid out. Yeah. When the car's raised up, they do come out a little bit. But yeah. And how far does it raise up to, I assume, a good an inch probably, or less? Probably two inches at the back. Okay. Probably yeah. three inches at the front. So you can't get over speed ramps yeah, yeah, at yeah. all. You just have to avoid speed ramps, plan your route accordingly. And how did you get on the grounds here then? Because did you get it? It was very slow yeah. and stressful. Avoiding the humps. Yeah, I understand, <laughs> I understand that. Can you get a good look inside? It's pretty rough in there, but we'll let it look. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> wow, that is so good. <laughs> see if you can see under the back of it, and you'll see how low it is to the floor under the gearbox. Sorry. Under the, under the back of the uh, car, yeah. you'll see how low it is to the floor. <laughs> if you can see under there. Basically, that's how low it is. Wow. The gearbox is on the deck, the subframe sits on the floor. And, and uh, next projects, or, or continue with this one? You've had it 10 years now. About 10 years. I've got some other cars as well. Yeah. Got some American stuff, classic Beetle. Anything old and rusty, I'm interested in it. Excellent. Do you live locally, or do you have to come far? Uh, I live 10 minutes away. Oh, Thanks for that, mate. Much appreciated. And there we go, folks. That's uh, a nice interview there with a gentleman with his Ferrari. I mean, I didn't know about that whole wheel rising thing. I just... James Wan, do you know?
What's going on here? Little tea party. Hello. Coffee. Oh, wow. Really nice. This is lovely. It's nice and cosy in here. Yeah, yeah. How long you had it? How long you had this for now? Five years. Three years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello to this one. Right. Well, enjoy. Good luck. Enjoy the coffee. Nearly 70 grand piece of car, this, the DeLorean. It's not kitted out in any way, shape or form. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep the system in bag. Fundraising, so you can pad your name on here for a donation. Donate, and you can add your name on here. sharp, doesn't it? So you get you get you get time to bring the car here. It should be at an Indian wedding or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's it doing here on a Sunday? We might go to one after this. Well, what? yeah, yeah, straight to Smethwick. <laughs> How long you had it? About four years. 
Oh, right, okay, nice. I don't think there you go, very nice. Enjoy your uh, afternoon tea. Yeah. Lunch, late. Lunch, yeah, late lunch, yes. So much to look at and delve into. Ah, oh, here we go, more content killing stuff. Italian engineers. Dancer, doesn't it? Just get up and dance. <sighs> Pizzas, food, drinks, burgers, coffee, the lot, all here. She's kept me actually. You've got to give yes. something up sooner or later. No, then. no, it's a stayer. It's a stayer. I'm safe. He's got his tongue still. He's trying to find a jewelry. Do you mean I've lost it? I've, I've never seen him again. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. How could I tell that it was an army if it wasn't that? Just a mammoth. It's the wheels. Look at that, compared to that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
memories. <laughs> Is it bringing back memories yeah. from the old days? Not inside. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got more stalls here on the side. Oh, it's a gimbal pocket camera, so the head's moving. As you can see, I can just go in there and just move it around. Gives it a smooth look. That's good. So no jerky stuff. Is this yours? Yeah. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you want to tell us about it if I mic you up? Uh, I'll give it a go. Yeah, <laughs> let's mic you up. Paper? Uh, How do? It's for online newspapers. Okay, yeah. do it. Go for it, uh, yeah. Fire away. Hello, sir. Tell us a bit about the car. Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Thank you very much. What is this? Uh, beautiful. Uh, this is a 1972. Uh, Corvette Stingray, the 72 model came with the chrome bumpers back and front, this one's the big block, the 7.5 litre pushing about 470 brake horsepower. Wow. This one is a fiberglass body as all Corvettes are, uh, it's got a few nice features like the invisible window wiper blades, the, the flaps come up when you want the window wipers oh, yeah, out, yeah. The, uh, the roof panels come off and on this particular model uh, the rear window also comes out. And where do the panels go? 
Uh, there was a place behind these seats. Yeah. Put them in bags and you can store them in the seats. So when you're in California, you can have the roof off and the back out, so it's nice and cool. Oh, it's similar but, to the MR2 T-bar. Yes, right. that's similar, yes. But this is 1972, so it's yeah. quite advanced in its yeah. day. Yeah. Day, yeah. Yeah. But it's a uh, yeah, beautiful car. Top of, I always saw it, American sports car. This is the ultimate. And how long have you had it? I've had it uh, about three months. But this came from the States. It had a complete restoration job. Did you import it in from the States? No, I bought it from a, a, a dealer in the UK wow. who, who did it for me. But uh, yeah, the colour is called uh, War Bonnet Yellow. Originally, I found out that it was actually uh, grey when it was made. Yeah. But now it's uh, been touched up with a different colour. And I'm really pleased with it. Okay. And any boot space? Uh, there isn't a boot on these cars. Yeah. It doesn't actually go up. There's no hinges, there's no boot. Yeah. You don't need a boot. It's designed to sit in and drive. You don't take golf clubs anywhere. You don't take... You can get racks on the back yeah. to put luggage yeah. on. Yeah. But there's no. There's not actually a boot there. There's nothing to go up as a boot. But... Uh, can we hear it sound? Of course you can, yes. This is a big engine. Believe me, this thing shakes the ground. You've heard it, folks. Yeah. I'll start this thing up for you. Well, it's one of those days when it won't start. Oh, okay. My battery's gone flat. I think I left my lights on. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. Well, at least we know now it's, yes. it needs charging. Yes, I've oh, I just got in battery light because it doesn't tell you when the lights are on. Yeah, yeah. I've walked out this morning, left the lights on, and I've flattened my battery. So, oh, well, sorry, we'll come back it. later and, yeah. and get it charged up. That's yeah, brilliant. Okay, sorry that's about brilliant. that. No, that's fine. That's no, fantastic. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah, no. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to hear that uh, engine because uh, sadly his battery was flat, but at least he gets to find out early on in the day that it's flat so we can get it charged up. So we might come back later to give that a tear up, but till then, let's uh, let's carry on. That's it. Lovely little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. How long you had it? 20, yeah, about 20 years. 28 years? 20 years. 20 years. Wow, it's part of the family then, really. It it's older than... Yeah. <laughs> And what do you prefer, this or the uh, the Audi that's at home instead, the family car? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Can't wait till you're old enough to drive it. Yeah. Can you? yeah, 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 honestly, it's brilliant. Oh, cool, thanks for that. Come out now. Oh, it'd be ideal to take away shopping, I isn't know, it? You get your Audi shopping that easily. Yeah, you quite a bit of shopping, fill that. Yeah. The 235 lasted two hours bringing it back from Kent and it blew up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The old babbit now. Wow, there's still so many vehicles. So many. Oh, 
that's a pretty that's a nice one there. choke in this car. You know what a choke is? Okay. In a modern car, mm -hmm. if you turn the ignition, it'll yeah. start. Mm -hmm. These have to be set up mm -hmm. so that they need a little bit of petrol mm -hmm. more yeah. to start it up. Oh, okay. So it's called a choke. Oh, oh, sorry, Oh me, I got distracted, so I've got to look at this now. I got distracted. I was supposed to be doing straight lines and now it's like, what is this? Do you mind if I'm, is this yours, yeah? Do you mind if I mic you up, you can tell me about it? Uh, I'll just uh, drop that on you there, sir. There you go. Uh, Oh, sir, this is fantastic. Tell me about it. What have you got here? Well, it's a, it's a JZR. It's got a motorbike engine in it. Uh, a Le Mans 1000 motor guzzy. It's got a Quaife reverse gearbox in it. Uh, it it's uh, Well, I started building it in 2013. Uh, I finished it in 2015. And I took it off the road again for another year to put a reverse gearbox in it. Uh, it's been on the road ever since with several alterations. And how fast That's it, it really. Oh, it, it'll probably do about 130, but yeah. I, w I wouldn't do it, didn't it? Do that, no. 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 That's brilliant. And how did you get it here today? Uh, I drove it. You drove it here? Yes, in, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Start. You can hear it start if you want. It's a little bit noisy. Well, that's what we like. <laughs> I have to remove the steering wheel to get in it. Ninety-one years old. Wow. And how many you own Four years. And three of those on the best race. What's your bad condition now? Where's my bike? Oh, we've got two spaces there. Somebody has not turned up. They've either broken down on the way here or they couldn't get on because the ground's so uneven. Oh, there's a few more here as well. Wow.
And it's been cared for over its years. What mileage has it got? No, it is It's done no mileage at all. Listen, I. It's a Romeo. You don't know a lot about these, do you? No, tell us a little bit about it. Right, what's happening now is, I think we've done the classic cars. We need to now check out some of these supercars. That's where, let me just try and find, where are they? It's a car show, right? I think I found it over here. Oh, handy as well. And we have the toilets, which I'm absolutely dying for. So, short break, pee break, M men's room. That's what Brand would say in the Goonies. Thank 
never really get one of those really bottles on the
Man. Ah, here he is. Stuart, hi. If I might queue up, do you mind if uh, talking about a bit of the show and what you've got going on here? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. It'll be quick though. Wait. Yeah, 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 no worries. Well, you can sit there and do it if you want. I know, I'll be losing money. Up. You can sit there and do it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you are good to go. Well, you can sit there and do it if you want. I know, I'll be losing money. Up. You can sit there and do it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you are good to go. Well, you can sit there and do it if you want. I know, I'll be losing money. Up. You can sit there and do it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you are good to go. The show, what you got going on here? Uh, what we are, this is Sherwood Jaguars. We raise funds for children's hospice and we've raised 318,000. And what you do, you buy a sticker you write your name on, your family, your dog, your hamster, anything you like, and it's permanent. The stickers do not come off. Anything else? We go to every show we can. Yeah. We go, uh, the best show of the lot, of course, is NEC, because everybody who comes there has got fistfuls of dollars. Yeah. They're not just walking the dog. Are you doing uh, Rotherham one in August or when? Uh, I don't know about it. it. If you let me know, uh, we'll go to every one. <clears throat> Is that it? That's brilliant, Stuart. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Are you buying a sticker while you're here then? I will when I come back with the kids, yes. Okay. So you can put the guinea pig's name on. They can. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks again. Right, let's try and get an interview with a sports car. We haven't had one yet, I don't think. Let's go for that. ST. Thank you. 
you know what, that's your lot for the show. We could probably do one interview with this couple here. Oh, yeah. 